Hi. Hi. Let me get a little bit closer. Hi. Wait. No. Well, shit. I wasn't going to start the video just yet because I'm not ready. I've got to wait for a few things. So I'm waiting for a few things. I did a lot of running around. My heartbeat is just. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. But I bought a bunch of good American shoes. <laughs> I don't know why I put them over here. But I needed to show you. I bought a bunch of good American shoes and I want to show them with you because I haven't found a lot of reviews of these shoes online and I see so many of them on Poshmark reselling. I really use that same Poshmark, but that's really mostly what I shop on. That's what I bought all this stuff on. So Poshmark is doing the damn thing. But <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of them on Poshmark and I'm sure they're on other resellers shit they go on eBay too and they don't have a lot of reviews I've only been able to find one review actual review of good American shoes as a brand good American has they are good American is founded by Khloe Kardashian and one of her friends and they're listed as a black company. I think it's Khadijah, because Khadijah is black, which I always found to be super weird whenever I look up um, Good American. They'll be like, oh, Good American identifies as a black owned company. And I'm always like, what? And then I do a little bit more research and they do have black people who is like in charge of Good American as a brand. I just always lose their names because Khloe Kardashian is the spokesperson up front and also the founder or part founder. But anyway, I found a lot of their shoes being resold on Poshmark and I decided to purchase a few because one, I do like to support black owned businesses, but two, I, well, honestly, every time I see black owned business, I'm shocked and I have this will, this desire to shop on there. But also I've heard that Good American is like a really good brand from who I can't recall. This is actually, I'm glad that this question was asked. From who I can't, recall but it has a reputation of being good quality materials but also it has a reputation of ending up in thrift bins like you can thrift a good american if you really wanted to like you could go to tj maxx that's what they say the rumor is you can go to tj maxx ross um burlington you can go to one of the other places. I wanted to say Shamwells, but I feel like that's a grocery store. But you can go to a lot of different brick and mortar stores and purchase good American branded things and thrifters are looking out for it. But why? Because it's not really reselling well. Is it? Because I bought these really cheap. I'm not gonna lie. These are known to be good quality um, made, which is the reason why I had absolutely no um change in thought process when it came to shopping for it i didn't i didn't talk myself out of buying this not one time because they're known they have a reputation to be well made but also you can get really good deals on this and i think they're getting people are currently are getting really good deals on this because people don't really know about it one it has such a big name recognition that people don't shop on there or they just automatically assume it's expensive and if you go onto their website their prices are pretty high but and they don't tend to have sales but you can find it in Nordstrom you can find it in thrift outlets and you can get a really good price on them and they're still quality made I don't know it is really changing my perspective on these just the thought of their business plan Ugh. But how does that change my perception of these? Because I look at these, 
I look at these and I look how the sole is one solid piece and it's sewed in one continuous circle. Now, where does it stop and where does it end? That's a good question. I can't tell. I'm looking at the, the seams. I'm looking at the stitches. I want to say here, underneath here, underneath this, this toe fabric, what does it do? It holds in the toes, but I feel like underneath this section, I can see where the stitch begins and ends, which is pretty good. It's only one spot, like it has to start, it has to end somewhere. I'm glad that they chose it to be under the toe cover. Strap, toe strap. Anywho, it has a thick sole. I've had these ones on, ooh, come on. <laughs> I've had these ones on all day and I have no complaints on the craftsmanship of it, but also I have no complaints on the wear of it so far. Now, only thing I did notice, however, which isn't a complaint, I just noticed, is that, I'm gonna have to show you my foot. The foot, the shoe is very thin you would automatically assume if you're used to having your footwear be bigger than your actual foot that these were made for narrow footed individuals but with me i don't have a classified narrow foot me putting them on it was initially tight but it was not uncomfortable and i could feel that it was elastic so it stretched over my toe knuckle space so they have stayed on, they have not slid off not one time. And like I could hold my foot up like this and the shoe will stay on. So, so far I don't have any complaints as far as the craftsmanship of this shoe. I feel like it's really well made. Now, I have not worn these repeatedly. I've had this shoe on for a couple of hours so far, just walking around my apartment. And if anything, I may have like rolled or twist, I didn't twist an ankle, I kind of rolled an ankle a few times on my left foot, which that tends to happen. I don't blame the shoe, but it would be nice if the heel was a bit thicker, but that's not how it was created. Oh, the heel also has like the same felt material as the actual shoe. But yes, I understand that that was not, the, the way of the heel was not as intended creation for it to be thicker. It would be nice so that my actual ankle would be more stable, but you kind of know what you're getting into when you decide to wear shoes like this. There's so many opportunities for your heel to not connect with the ground correctly. So um but as far as the craftsmanship i do like that the heel was centered in the ball of my foot so it's really up to me to walk correctly <laughs> but it, i do i do like how stable it is or it, it is for it to be this square square stiletto pencil heel it's like a thick pencil square pencil heel yeah I also like how the heel itself is slanted. Like when it, it's not a straight heel, as you can see, it's not straight. It is not, it does not touch the ground in a 90 degree angle. I do like that. It makes it feel a lot more sturdy as well. 
but like I said I've only worn this heel for a few hours and I don't think this is something I would want to replace now I have to wear it for months on end before I can give a thorough review but the initial review so far I do like how well crafted it is you do need to go by your European size and not your US standard size um, but otherwise it fits really well I got a size 11.5 which translate to a size European 42 which is my accurate size so I would say it's true to size in as far as European numerically because I get so annoyed when I get like a European size oh no that's my fault I'm a 42 I was gonna say a 41 Italian 41 or if I'm looking and I'm looking at um the the United States sizing list and I see like a certain brand, which I will review in the future, a certain brand does this, where they have the the United States size list to be both a 41 and a 42. And then on the resale market, looking for the specific one, like you have to be really anal when you're like describing these things because you could buy a, you could buy a US size 11 and it will be a US size 11, but it'll be a, a European size 41 when well, you need a 42. So this is a European 42, but it's United States marked as 11.5. So go buy your European size or your UK size because they tend to be accurate as well for me. Or I'm a UK 9 and not a UK 8. <laughs> you understand? But yeah, so far, I have really liked these shoes. I've only worn them for a few hours. I will have to update. Let's not rush this one. Let's see all the shoes that I bought this week. Oh my God, I've been, uh, don't get distracted. But <laughs> this feels really good. Man, if you see all the shoes that I bought this week, you will understand that I was obviously on like a trend of some sort. Like I was obviously going for a certain type of style. I need to like learn how to chill the fuck out with confirming I want to purchase something. <laughs> Like, girl, take a breath. But I've been thinking about these things. I've been thinking about them and then I still purchase them. So, like, obviously, it's a conscious decision. I don't regret it. I have them here in front of me. I do not regret it. But I am concerned that they are just worldly possessions and not, like, something intangible. I feel like I need to invest in something more spiritual. Not knowledge. I, I understand knowledge is a gift and you should always... You know, if you have the capacity to, to continue to learn, um, I've just I've decided to learn in different facets of my life. I'd rather learn unconsciously as opposed to consciously, which is what I used to do in the past. Oh, but um, what was it? Oh, man. I might need a neck massage at some point. I worked out yesterday and I got muscles that I don't normally get like woo! it was a good workout I wish I, I had thoughts of filming it but I didn't because I was like people will enjoy that too much <laughs> I was like mm. and then I gotta find the right angles if I did it the way that I imagined that I've been able to yeah y'all would have enjoyed it or at least a group of you
Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Feels really good, but I can't get everything. <laughs> Man, woo! If we could get that under like five minutes. That one don't feel good. Not well. It's not painful, but it don't feel well. Right there. <laughs> Obviously did not work out that area. I gotta work on that, huh? Did I work it out over here? Yeah, it feels good over here. Ah, I don't feel good over there. Oh. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> All right, too much fabric. Not the right angle. <laughs> Obviously, didn't work out this area either. Yeah, because my arms are different arms, so they act differently. <laughs> they are not consistent at all. <laughs> are your ligaments twins? That's our next conversation topic. <laughs> all right. What do you think? How do I talk to you? I don't know. <laughs> They're on their way. <laughs> They're cops. <laughs> I think I'm going to talk to myself to a camera. Anywho,
y'all i was just thinking not thinking i was just looking at this abuse that was going on and i don't know enough in the, like information for me to like you know describe it correctly but i wish i knew any of their names fuck it was something about a hairdresser being yelled at from a asian pop band i hope they sang pop it was an asian asian girl band and there was what i read to be the lead singer was yelling at the makeup artist because she was tugging on their hair like tugging on her hair and they said that her hair in the group's hair cast members was very brittle and long it was like very brittle and it was breaking off because it was bleached for so it was like bleached over so many times so they were like destroying the girl's hair and also like torturing their scalps because they were like brushing too hard. And they said that that's like a makeup artistry thing that they got going on inside of Asian groups. I don't, I wish I read more so that I could articulate it better, but I read it in a hurry and already in comments under a thread, so. I would have to really research in order to like get all the information. But that's what I read. And I was just thinking about that. And I was thinking about how awful it is that these entertainers, like how, not even awful, just how complex it is that these entertainers are being surrounded by regular people on a regular basis, which isn't anything wrong about it, regular people with important jobs that are to help like create the image or not even create but aid in the complete image that the entertainer has worked so hard to have and be able to showcase that image completely to the world and their fan base i was thinking about that and i understand that it's a very artist task for both people the entertainment and the makeup artist but i don't really want to aid sympathy to the makeup artist because she obviously was neglecting or volatile is what i really want to say she was very volatile in her approach with um tending to the artist's hair mm. Awesome. Violetile. That's what I said. Anyway, that's what I meant to say. So that's how I'll leave it. <laughs> that's what exactly, precisely. Very quick. Y'all, yeah, okay. I bought a bag for myself. I bought a bag for myself again this year. Oh my God, like, oh, it's so good. I don't want to stop. Whew. I'm really, this is just, this gives me momentarily joy. Oh, I hate that I'm so fucking like aware of everything. I just want to enjoy this moment and just accept that I bought myself something nice and that I have to stop doing that for a while. Okay, because <laughs> you've been enjoying yourself a bit too much. I know, this is a problem of having restrictions on life. Stop talking. Enjoy this moment. This is the authentic MCM dust bag. Oh my god. It feels a lot different than my fake one. It even looks different. I don't even remember what my fake one says, but I don't think it's this. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it has all of that on it. But mine's silk. This is my real one. Stop comparing enjoy i'm sorry i brought the camera in i could see through the camera i need to see through real life okay one you guys one i would like to apologize because i definitely well i'm not gonna apologize for my own happiness but i definitely enjoyed this item well i looked at it and enjoyed it and fulfilled my excitement well no 
I definitely looked at this, enjoyed this item, and um, relished in my excitement before putting it back into its dust bag and staging it so I can open it on camera. Because um, I just wanted to, you know, relish my excitement. So I'm going to redo this. And honestly, it does not change how excited I am still. I purchased this for myself. I don't even have a reason or a story behind why I did it. I, as I told you all, I have been looking to purchase pieces, pieces that fulfill my personal style and speak to me as an individual as opposed to just the popular items. And since I bought an inauthentic MCM bag, I have been looking for authentic ones that speak to my style and that I would feel honored and not even honored, should honor's not the right wrong, right word, what's the way? I would feel excited and sure while carrying it. Now, as you know, the, the last one, as beautiful as it was, it was a flop for me. I fumbled that because it wasn't to perfection standards. They had some things that just were not, it was not one-to-one -one quality. They had some things that just were not good. But this is a purchase from the authentic brand that speaks to me. So I'm sorry to be speaking so much, but I wanted you all to see what I got. I got the MCM Berlin trunk with studs on it. It's the studded Berlin trunk. It's fucking beautiful, okay? I wanted to replace my inauthentic one and actually support the real brand by buying a authentic one that's within my price range and I found this one and I liked it so much I just thought it was fucking beautiful I was like oh look at the studs that speaks to me this is something that I would actually like carrying I like top handle bags I like to carry my bags with my hands but I also like crossbody bags and this is has a crossbody strap with it now, this is a bag that I've never encountered before. I didn't even consider the box shape on my frame. I didn't consider that I'd be carrying around a rectangle <laughs> like as I was walking. I didn't consider any of these things. But I see this bag and I open this bag for the first time and with it being on my body, let me show you what it's like. This is it, crossbody. Do you see? I hope you see. This is it, crossbody. And I looked in the mirror earlier and I enjoyed what I saw. Now, I don't know if you can see my full body, but if you could see my full body, you see what I saw in the mirror, at least. A lot of curves. And then this square on the hip, right on the hip, this is visually pleasing for me. And that's what matters. So also another thing that I saw is when I opened it, this right here, this is a new movement for me. This, when you open your purse, I'm a, well, I'm gonna have to, this is me reminding myself. When I open my purse, I cannot look away. I have to really be knowing what I'm looking for. I either have to go up front like this so I can open it and just take some things out, or I have to be completely sure of what I'm looking for, or just slightly do it this way to where my arm is still like blocking. Otherwise, it's just open. Everything's just open. Everybody can see everything. So I gotta be very conscious when I open this thing up. This is, this is a bag you have to be careful with because anybody could just try to ruin your fucking happiness. I was gonna say a hateful ass bitch couldn't just come by and like either stick their hand inside, take some shit, or bend it all the way down, ripping it. Somebody could be very spiteful one day. Ugh. Very spiteful. So maybe this would be the best way of doing it. 
being conscious and cautious. And then like, if I'm at a grocery store, the register, I can put it on top of the register and sift through. Oh, that's cool. I like to go in, in places where I think, oh, nobody's looking at my bag. So <laughs> that's, that's, I'm gonna have to give myself in a space to where I feel, I feel that, that way, safe in that way. Nobody's looking at your fucking bag. Like, no, no one cares. That's where I need to be around. Anyway, I like this. I wonder if I like this. I haven't, I haven't looked at it like this just yet. That's something. I mean, it's not bad. Honestly, if I can be thoroughly honest with you, I am really enjoying the reflection that this bag is creating on me. I feel like the contrast between my dark hue and this tan hue, it's just, it makes you go from, like even if you like first saw me and you looked at my bag, you would immediately be drawn to my face because my skin is darker. So now your eyes are just going to the next contrasting thing. That's if that's how you look visually. I look visually like that sometimes, I just registered that. But, <laughs> that's what happens so that's what I see when I look in the mirror at first I look at the bag and then I look at the person carrying the bag I wonder if I would have that contrast with someone with a lighter complexion not 100% honest I wonder if that's the same contrast that I have when I'm carrying my LV bag no not really honestly when I carry my LV bag I look at the bag I don't even look at the person but honestly the last time I carried my LV bag I was wearing dark wearing dark clothes there are some bags that just draw you to the bag and there are some bags that draw you to the person carrying the bag and I feel like this bag draws you to the person, well at least me to the person. Either way, I really like carrying this. And you could also carry it, or I could also carry it across, I mean, via the shoulder strap. Making sure my shoulder isn't wet with sweat. <laughs> How does that look? How does that look? Super casual. <laughs> I think so. I think it looks very casual. This is probably how I'm naturally going to carry it, especially when I'm wearing jeans or a t-shirt. This is how I'm going to carry it. But then if I'm wearing a dress, like this dress, I would, I would wear it like this. This feels so dainty. <laughs> also, my arm is exposed, so I kind of want to keep my arm exposed. <laughs> This is like cute, you know? This is cute. I like this. <laughs> I like this. I don't shake too much ass out. But um, what else? I like this. <laughs> I'm not looking at this dress and I'm thinking, Shapewear. <laughs> shapewear. Gotta get shapewear. Because fucking hell. Gotta get shapewear. Or is it just the lighting? Is it the lighting? Or is it that the fabric is not constricting so it's not sucking anything in? And it's allowing everything to be free. Which isn't a bad thing because um, it shouldn't be constricted all the time. But also I feel like when I am constricted, like when everything is tight and upright, is because I was ready for the day. So I know sometimes it's so contradicting. It's like, should I get shapewear? I'm like, it'd be good to have it at some point, but should I be wearing shapewear all the time? No, I don't know. Things, yeah, uh, sometimes you just get conscious of things and you don't know if it's for the best or not, or you just, you gotta make a decision. and. You gotta be the one. The bad it. thing is not a burden, it's just a fact. Um, I also, I got those boots in. I'm very tired. I think I'm gonna take a nap. I have been waiting for that package to arrive all day. And then it came and I didn't even have to be here for it. So I could have actually did something. I could have contributed to society in some way. I mean, I guess I did. I did record a lot today. I smoked. <laughs> I was gonna title this video I don't know what I decided to title it I was gonna tie it like I, I tried to record a video hi which I'm gonna be honest with you I don't normally when I record my videos I'm not normally like hi I don't, I don't 
I'm actually not going to smoke after I run out of the weed that I have here. Like, I'm not buying anymore. Like, I don't even like who I am high. So, I stopped smoking for a while, and then somehow weed got introduced back into my life. And I was like, oh, it'll be fun to do. Let's do it. Why not? And it was. I mean, it kind of reminded me who I was, like, years ago when I was smoking, how I felt and stuff, my thought process. But it didn't really help me grow as an individual. I don't know. It didn't really help me as an individual. You know, I could have done everything I did high sober. Like, <laughs> I would have been fine. So now I'm just, I ha I'm in possession of weed. And I'm smoking it because it's there and it's something to do. And it's like, why not? Maybe I want to be high. And like I just said, being high for me, it doesn't, it just changes. It's a physical high for me. Like, it just changes my physicality. But I could have did everything a lot more efficient if I was sober. <laughs> anyway, I just want to, like, lie in bed for a good, like, few minutes. Maybe watch a few YouTube videos. Maybe scroll on my phone for a bit. I just need to get my energy back. I don't know if I'm going to actually try to record a video that makes sense. Or if I... I kind of like what I did today. I feel like it was so casual. But I do want to show you guys the boots. I do want to do that. I just, I feel like I need to have a dedicated video for Good American. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a dedicated video for Good American. But I really want y'all to see the boots. So come back and see the boots, okay? Y'all are going to like the boots. I hope you like the boots. I really hope so. I have an outfit all picked out. I'm just waiting until I get the sweater. Ugh, I haven't upgraded my life, but I've been spending a lot of money. I told myself I'm not going to spend any money anytime soon because I need to actually spend money on unnecessary stuff. So, I mean, I still have been saving. Like, I've been good. I've been, I've been smart with my decisions, but I know I could be smarter. And then that's kind of like how I want to grow as an individual, so as a person. So I want to be smarter financially as well as, oh, specifically financially. But I also want to do things that are going to better my future. So I've been looking at everything that I've been doing as an investment because I'm not purchasing anything that's going to end up in landfills in two years like I have, like I was doing in the past. I've been more conscious with the material and the craftsmanship of the items that I've been purchasing because most of the things I've been purchasing has been physical and used for everyday um, consumption. So I've been smart in that way, but I know I could be smarter as far as in the rate of which I'm spending um, and what I'm spending it on. Because like I said, all this stuff is physical. Gotta get insurance on these things. Insurance is important. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try to do that at some point so as to like insure myself. Because as as much as I believe insurance is a scam... And as much as I know, because there's so many fucking stories out there in this world, that insurance doesn't really take care of you in the way that insurance is, tries to reassure you that they're going to take care of you in. It is better than having absolutely nothing. So I got to find out a, a rate of insurance that is good for me. Hmm. Anyway, well, I figured that out. I'm going to maybe take a nap, maybe scroll on my phone, relax the muscles, <laughs> do all the things I said I was going to do earlier. I'll be back.